I recorded a couple, but just some of them didn't work out. Wait till he gets out of here. I'm sure y'all have already seen this animation. If you haven't, well, I'm still going to talk through it. Uh, so, long story short, my thing keeps saying encoder overloaded, and it didn't do that before, like with the first five levels. So, I think it has something to do with the caged data that I have on my computer somehow. Um, I got to figure out a way to clear that. But I'm going to see if this lags up first. I'm sorry for the bad quality. Kind of had to turn it down a little bit so that way it wouldn't overload. Because, I mean, it was lagging every five seconds on the last two levels, and I had to go full-on editor mode. So I didn't really react to it, because I've done it seven times, and I was just like, you know, I couldn't really react properly, because I already knew everything. So, I'm starting fresh, <laughs> okay? I'm sorry about the last two. Hopefully these will be a little more traditional. Ah. Uh... end is nigher. Why does everything look so colorly faded? Am I noticing this or is this just like is this so how it's supposed to look? Looks like it's that over there. I don't know, something about this don't look proper. It might be because I turned my graphics down on my thing, but it looks different. I don't know if, like, it looks... You know how the lighting just don't look right? It looks like the lighting isn't right up here. Like, on the last two, it seems like the lighting was a little different compared to the normal thing. Okay. Six Fears Decryption. Red equals 1, green equals 2, blue equals 3, gray equals 4, yellow equals 5, purple equals 6, and orange equals 7. A equal amount, B equal color code. EX negative 1. 4, 1 means 4 red. 4, 1, 2, 7. 4 red, 2 orange. What is this? A combination? Well, them stupid idiots left me at code already. Even though green... Wait a minute. They said blue was three and green is two. They lied to me! Okay, I have an idea, though. We'll still enter it anyway and try. What was it again? Two, one, three, two, thirteen. Two, at, 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 two, one, three, two, thirteen. Well, come on. Well, worth a shot. Uh, well, <gasps> sticky notes. They don't say it. Everything looks so awfully colored, though. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I did notice a green orb over there. Okay. It says six fears decryption. Oh. Okay. Are there any over here? So I had to find six of them. I'm assuming, maybe? Any in that trash can? Hello? Nothing. Any in this trash can? Hello? Nothing. Any in this trash can? Nothing. So you got Pokemon PTSD. Every time I see a trash can, I look through it. <laughs> I'm a dumpster diver. Okay, there's, there's one red one. I forgot what was over there. 
That is a gray one, you sneaky bish. Okay, so there's a red one and a gray one. Okay, a red one and a gray one. A red one and a green one. A red one and a green one. You know what, let me turn on my flashlight so that way I can see if there's anything on the shelves. Because that gray one almost slipped by me. Somehow. I don't even know how it didn't, but like it looked like a sore thumb there for a second. Like out the corner of my eye. It looked like it was hanging off the shelf almost. Or like it like that sign was glitching through. Okay, so that's one gray one. Well, I guess maybe they can only be on shelves. That's one red one. That's a gray one. So there's two gray, one red. There's a green one. Okay. So that would be four. So. And then over here, there would be a red and a yellow. So there would be one yellow, two red, two gray, and then one green. And I assume we go. We'll go. Oh, it says priority there. So we'll try that. So it will be. All right. It would be two one. I couldn't erase, I should have probably not erased the first part. One two two four one five. Aha! I'm gonna guess. I'm oh, gonna remember that number. I'm gonna guess we try the first one and then the second one up there. What was it? Six one five five. Hey! Look at us being escape room genius. I didn't have my mic on right. <laughs> I didn't just do all that in vain. It's fine. It's it's probably most likely okay. It might not be okay, but it's okay because I'm not okay. It might be. I hope no scary monster comes from my backside through this little maze of yours. Yes. We like mazes. It's all puzzle. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Is there anyone up there? Oh, what was. Oh, that made a sound. I think I don't think that was me though. Hopefully that won't me. It won't me. It won't me. I'm listening to the sound now. It won't me. It won't me. Did I just walk through there? No. Oh, there was a turn there. I didn't see the turn. Oop. That was a squeeze. I almost see better just looking for the red lights. Okay, no, I don't. Where am I? Where did I come from? Okay, I came from this way, and I'm going this way. Or I came from the other way. You know what I you know what I'm saying. Follow the red light. Cause it's dynamite. And the feel is right. Oh, yes, it's father the light. Oh, word of night. Yeah, I was a disco man long before your age. Man, I'm old. <laughs> well, do you know I'm actually like 80 years old and you have no idea? I'm like that cool grandpa. Whoa, where is this? Something don't feel right about this. Whatever. Oop, it's dark in here. Ha! <laughs> I scoff at your... ...efforts. Please tell me I wouldn't need that long password. Well, there's gotta be a clue somewhere around here. I hope. Because I can't go back. 
So I wouldn't know what password to look for. Oh. What is that? Eyeballs! Oh god. Prepare for a monologue of your life! Youngsters! <sighs> Normal levels, diverse in size, security. You can tell by, like, the way he's, re like, reading this. He's, like, from the 90s. Or, like, the, not from the 90s, from, like, the 1500s because of the writing. So you have to read it like a noble gesture. Okay. <clears throat> Normal levels, diverse in size, security, and safety. No, that that sounded more like a like a eighties cartoon villain. Alright. Come on, we get we're gonna do this. All the Oh, there we go, that's better. All the blueprint of the back rooms. Some levels are homes to sustain communities, while others pose major threats to any life within them. Many of these levels represent what are known as liminal spaces, invoking on the eerie feeling inside the heads of the inhabitants. View some of the levels, photographs, and you may enthusiastically point and scream, that place looks familiar. But we must warn you that the back rooms do not abide by normal earth laws. Physics is thrown aside for more chaotic anomalies. Level zero, for example, is a seemingly infinite non-linear space resembling the back rooms of a retail outlet. <laughs> we didn't have those back in the, 18, the 1500s. <laughs> All rooms in level zero appear uniform and share a superficial Features such as yellow wallpaper, damp carpeting, and electric outlets. And also, and consistently placed a theoristic lighting. Is this a fluorescent? That looks like an H to me. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna say it's fluorescent. Fluorescent lighting. My apologies. However, no two rooms within the level are identical. <laughs> All right. We got to try and read that. Something reversed to as use the pool room, the full rooms. Oh, crap. Yep, that's it. I'm not gonna diverse that code. We gotta diverse another code through Bushido code. Is there anything else on the shelf? Is it on the floor? Is there light? Is there anything in the trash can? No. Find one item in Pokemon in a trash can. All of a sudden, oh, this color looks blue. What does it say? It says research. Why is some of these, like, scratched out? Even, like, unnecessary words. Understand that it is your duty to create a piece of documentation immersive and descriptive enough such that your readers who traverse the level you're documenting know just as much as you do. The code written are the data from other researchers for state of documentation these doc these somethings these codes are used for security and re I can't really read what they're saying because it looked like some of the words look like other words on my screen like that F the back there look like an H so I'm trying to security closures I'm having like to put my face to the screen. The something, the codes, do data, the passwords, something, security. Mm. Well. Time to get a cracking. 
in case uh, there is any other weird books I'm gonna look for it just in case I mean we found that one weird book so I mean that didn't have the password so maybe there's anything in here no well anything oh hey what is this title what even is that oh it says entity mmm mmm what, what is that face? What is that face? You know what we're gonna read? It looks like Among Us looking at a backrooms entity. Entities are a category of various beings and organisms residing within their originate residing within and originating from the backrooms. There are many different types of various of entities, both hostile and passive. The nature of Oh, I thought I heard something. Okay. Sorry about that. Thought there was something weird going on. Okay, where was I? The nature of each entity type varies greatly. They most stray far from the familiar creatures we know in. I don't even know what that is. Understanding the behavior and nature of entities you encounter within the backrooms is crucial to your survival. <sighs> entity hazard class 4, entity number 8, habitat majority. The name hound comes from the dog-like nature of the of the of these entities. Crawling on all fours and mauling anyone that provokes them they are very very dangerous and become agitated when they see someone in a hostile state but can be intimidated they are the natural enemies of the back rooms entity has a class four the skin am i uh, yet yeah. okay the skinwalkers are mostly known to walk in other people's bodies as they disguise to target. More living creatures they hide. I can't read half of these words. Oh, it says pretty. That looked like an L. They hide pretty well in the dark. Most of them are founded on level cave system. Only their glowing white eyes are noticeable. Smiles. That's it. Whoa. Whoops. Wait a minute. I got an idea. If I do this over here, and then if I... Nope, that didn't work. Okay. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep entering these codes, I guess. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. One, two, four, one, and then five, seven, two, three. Quit clicking on it. One, two, four, one, and five, seven, two, three. One, four, one. One, four, one, two, four, one. Five, seven, two, three. Well, I gotta redo this now. I wonder if I can enter it from so far away. Five, three, two, five, one, and three, two, three, one. Three, two, five, one, three, two, three, one. Easy. Three, two, three, one. Five, one. Dang. This thing don't take nothing. What about... Oh, no. It's, it's this thing? Yeah. Okay. Had a moment. Don't mind me. Four, four. Four, four, four. 
two, and then nine four oh three. Don't remember nine four oh three more. Nine four oh three. Hey, there we go. Only took us a certain amount of tries. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. You can look the other way. But we can't try to stay. <coughs> okay. Whoa. That looked like a weird turn. <gasps> I see a white light. White light. Take me down to my toes. Ooh, look. I can see where I started from here. Wait, can I see where I started from here? I can see the computer. Is that the computer? Hold on. Whoa! That, my hand looked weird there for a second. Yep, there's the computer. Oh my god, the keep a goose. There's where I started. Okay, well. I don't know why it's stuck on nighttime mode. I think that's what. I think it's supposed to do that. I don't know. It looks like it's stuck on nighttime mode on mine. Cause like the weird like minimize this for a minute. Whoa. That was weird. Uh like you see that? I don't know why it won't let me do that. It's weird, I'm playing touch screen on my computer, but it won't let me use computer controls for some reason. I think because my computer has a touch screen, so it automatically like kinda overrides the computer controls. Commands. Why? Whoa, no, no, no. Why? Yeah. That's not it. They lied to me. Mm -hmm. They lied to me again. Oh, that's yes or no. It says terminal gate access. Am I? Here. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Oh my. Well, now I'm back at square one. Wait. Didn't I just go through that wall? Oh, no, there's a door. Can I go back through the door? Can I? Can I go? Nope. It won't let me. Can I run through the door? Nope. Can't go back. Oh, that's green now. Oh, it's open, is it? Can't tell. Yep, yeah, it's open, I think. I don't look open. We're going to try. <gasps> I did it! It only took me about an hour. That's a book. Oh, I kept the book. Is anyone here? Alright, we're going to have to cut the video there. Hope you all enjoyed. And please remember to like and comment if you do enjoy this. Because I do put a lot of work into it. gonna sit in the dark oh god no there we go yay